Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today I've got some big plans. There's a lot I actually want to get done and I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible. Not that it's competition or anything, I just, I, I don't want to take too long doing it. So there was a lot of suggestions last time to go to add a branch from the Clearwater station that actually goes over to El Monte because these guys are already down in the valley so it'd be relatively easy to get the train to come through here, stop at Erie and then go to El Monte and then that would also Wait, no, not not stop at El Monte, but stop at Erie. Sorry, I forgot that this was a huge hill. We might, you know what, actually, can we get a train up there? I mean, we might be able to. I didn't actually check at the time. We just did this. Oh, no, you definitely can't. It would have to, <laughs> that's as steep as it can go down. You'd have to do some funky stuff. But yeah, so it have a branch that goes down to Erie is a good suggestion. I wonder if we can hmm, just add another platform, maybe? Or is there any is there any point doing that? Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just use the existing tracks because I don't think it'll be that busy. So what I'm going to do is oh I might you know what I might not be able to do a crossover until all the oh no that could be bad. You know what? Maybe I'll see if I can get another platform in over this side. Okay, so I've added some extra platforms here, and we're going to just destroy everything again like we normally do. I'm actually just going to get rid of that entire road because it's going to be nicer to just have the road actually run alongside the train station platform here. So if we do that, and then I'm just gonna have this road, I'm gonna just go straight alongside it. Well, actually it has to be a little bit further out. It actually has to be about here. And then I'm actually gonna have this connect down here as well. I guess we may as well connect it up this side too, so they can come this way. So that's all there. And then hopefully this can just, can it do a nice, oh. Can it do a nice curve maybe? I mean, that's not too bad. Put it on the ground, build that one. And then these guys, I'm sorry, you, got, you guys are also gonna have to go. I know, I know, I'm destroying your entire livelihood in town, but you know, it's all in the name of progress. Trust me, in 50 years time, in the year 2000, you're gonna be, you're gonna be laughing. You're gonna be like, wow, this is totally worth it. I mean, maybe not, but it's just the way it is. There's nothing I can do about it, okay? It's <laughs> gonna do a little bit of terraforming. I just did a bit of flattening there, so hopefully it like smooths out a little bit better. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a, that's a nicer slope. So then we just have a road that goes straight up here. Okay, it might be more from here-ish. This one can go straight up there. And then they can build other roads if they want. I feel like this didn't, I thought this did connect when I when I built it, but I think, I don't think it did. No, that's annoying. Try this again. It needs to be close enough that it connects, which uh, has to be like there. <laughs> And then there. There we go. Okay, now it connects with that end too. Also, this just looks a little bit nicer, I think. Now, that bus stop actually has to come back as well, which was here. So hopefully, if I just put it there, all oh, sweet. That updates to that point. Kind of annoying that it has to go there and come back around. I guess actually I could just build another road, maybe, is a good idea. A road here, so then it can come straight like that. That's a bit better. Yeah, because then it can actually just go around the block like that, a little bit nicer. Cool. All right, so that's that. Um, they should then start building and I can unpause again. I think we should be fine. So the whole point of that was just to get another set of tracks in here, which actually, I don't even know if I can. I haven't even tested that bit yet. Like, can I get another set of tracks next to this? Is it gonna let me? Oh, it actually is. That is genuinely surprising. I did not think it was gonna let me do this. This one, not so much. Ooh, we got new trams. Oh, I see. I think it's trying to, because that road underneath that they built, it doesn't like that. It might just be that. Maybe now I can do it. Really not liking, oh, here we go, there. So it really wasn't liking the bridge over that road there. But now, yeah, there we go. We've actually managed to get four tracks in and out of Clearwater. That's actually kind of impressive. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. It's a little, you know, the, the little S band there is maybe a bit much. But this will now let me build all the way alongside these tracks up to, I guess on this bend here before we go in the tunnel maybe. We could just keep going straight. I think I actually might need to redo this road crossing again because I think it's going to get in the way. I was actually thinking about it. the road could actually just stay here and go above the tunnel. That might actually make more sense. So now, yeah, the road actually curves up and over where the tunnel is. So we don't have to worry about any sort of crossings there. Now this track is actually just going to branch off and probably just come straight over this way. Maybe a little bit more here so I can sort of fit through that valley. So it does go into a tunnel here as well. Just fine, because I mean, it's still very hilly through this area, but it sort of branches off this way. It'll come straight through to Erie, which will probably end up being potentially a good branching station heading down south, because that could actually take us towards Houston. We have a train right here that could actually continue up through Joliet to Erie. So maybe what I'll do, go train station, I'm going to do four tracks just so it's ready to go. 
and maybe it should be facing kind of diagonal so they can both get in there. Oh, I guess it could probably even just be two tracks. So it doesn't need to be a separate line, does it? Because it's not going to keep going up north because it can't really. You'd have to go back to Clearwater to change and then go up to Surprise. Or get the bus to El Monte to go here and then you could change here at Surprise, get the train up there. It's a whole, it, look, it's, it's a network. It may not be the best, but that's going right there. I'm gonna get rid of this road because it's kind of in the way. So I'm thinking this will connect down there later, not right now. And this is gonna come through, hmm, maybe this way. I might need to get rid of this road again. I guess it doesn't need to be paused. We don't have any broken roads at the moment. So I'll just unpause it so the game can keep advancing through time. So it's gonna come this way. Now, does this go back down again? I think it does over that side, which is okay. So it has to go up a little bit here. Hopefully it builds my second track for me. Oh, built it on the other side. <laughs> This, uh, I gotta stop trying to use this parallel tracks mod. It seems like a good idea in theory, but it's a little bit too hit or miss. All right, so there is quite a descent over this side. So I am gonna try and hug maybe this uh, hillside here a little bit on our way down. Because we actually do need to approach it from this way anyway. So it actually kind of makes sense to sort of come around. And then hopefully this will actually just make it in for us. And I might cut that out. Is, or is that, oh, what I say? Or, well, actually, first of all, it's not even working. Oh, we got a collision with this little road here. Okay, that's fine. Let's redo that. So we've got this rail here, which is my right-hand rail. I'm gonna come around, join into here, and we'll have that cut out. Or is it, is it cut out weird, or is that... No, it's okay. I just didn't want it tunneling all the way there, because it doesn't really need to. So that joins into that point, as does this, hopefully. Perfect. So that now is a branch from Clearwater through to Erie, which is actually really, really handy. I'll do my signals, auto sig, 320 meter spacing. Oh, actually, I'm going to need to do some switches through here, aren't I, somewhere? Because this is the end of the line. Can this just go here? Oh, that'd be too easy. <laughs> that'd be way too easy, wouldn't it? Can this go here? Mm. Oh, that somehow worked. That's great. I'm going to go with that. And then currently, this is the end of the line. So again, we'll also do the uh, crossovers here. Later on, this probably won't be the end of the line. All right, auto sig that way, please. Or, or not. Auto sig. Oh boy. Auto sig. Oh boy. All right, well, that's not working. Let's try, let's try and go in the other way. And auto sig. Hey, that one worked. Why didn't the other way work? Let me try again. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it didn't work before. Anyway, whatever. All right, so that's got signals all along the track. Very, very handy. And I'm going to need to get a train depot, which I guess for now, I'll just put here. Oh, I did not realize that this was so much higher up. Well, whoops. Alrighty. Uh, can I go to there? No. Right, great. So let's not put it there. This is why you gotta be careful of all this hilly terrain. Okay, that looks better. I just gotta make sure it's close enough to the rail. Alright, so we got the 320 meter tracks here. Oh, I don't actually have a line. I should probably do that. So this is gonna be, I guess, a clear water to eerie branch. The branch! That's gonna start on platform, yeah, I guess three, because I think that's the one I can swap to. And then come down to here. It is on the correct side of the tracks. Great. So, I mean, passenger lines are all just T something, though. That is getting kind of confusing. So I feel like, because that's T7, maybe this will be... Well, if I could find my new... Where, where, where'd my new line go? Oh, line one. Um, this could be T7 Erie branch. Kind of wish it put it... Hmm. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't just put it under T... I thought it would, like, put it together. Anyway, it's the branch of T7. And... Seeing as it's a branch, I'm gonna make it the same color. That's my new theory. When we branch off, except for maybe this line, because I think this this line here, which is T8, I actually wanna continue that up to Seattle. That's something else I wanna do today. I want that to continue up, and then that line's gonna sort of come down the middle of the map a little bit. Right, trains for this line. Do we go big boys, or do we just go electric? Probably just electric. Uh, I'll go for the 160 kilometer hour train. Passenger, I don't think it's gonna be that busy, at least not to start off with, but. I'm just gonna, we'll, go, we'll just go for it. We'll go for one train. Oh, and you guys actually did want me to color these trains based on the lines that, well, there was a comment about that. Um, I don't know if I want to color, hang on, how do I edit this? I don't know if I want to color the actual uh, engine. Which, how do I change that now? I think I have to do this. Do I have to pay money to do this? Oh boy, because <laughs> time's advancing. I think maybe we color the passenger wagons that color maybe? Or should the whole thing just be that color? I don't know, but anyway. So that's gonna go, obviously this is not connected yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, actually, you know what? I could even just extend this line. So instead of going number three and then back, it's gonna go number three. Oh, wait, where did my stop? I, oh, I literally built a stop here and then the town, the game built a road here. Guys, come on, let me, 
there. And then if you want to build a road, we'll say I need one of these on each side of the road, I think now. So one there too. So it will come up this way and then I'm going to build a road for you guys. Maybe here a little bit. So it's a little bit more over and it's going to go here and then here. And then this one can go here. There you go. Look, there's a few more little options. So we're going to go three from um, Broadway Street. That's an interesting name for a street. And it's going to stop on number one first, like it currently already is. And then go to here. Hang on, let me see. There it is. And then it will come back to Broadway Street on number five. And then head all the way back up here to Taylor Street and then through to Maple Street. So this actually connects these two train stations and also connects this town to this train station. So that should actually be pretty good. So hopefully that actually works for us because how many people are even on these buses? Probably not many because we have a lot of buses on this line, which is why I figured we might as well just extend it to connect to here. So this train is coming in. That now connects up Erie directly to Clearwater, which is quite nice. So no one is on the Erie branch, not yet. They might be later though. So now the other kind of branches I want to do is actually from, well, I guess it's from here. Because uh, what I would like to do this, I would actually like to extend or even add another line from Miramar through Hialeah up to Norfolk and then to Seattle. So it goes up the side here. I'd really like to do that. And I think before we do that, I want to get a terminus station, I think. Yeah, because we'll leave buses going along the top. I don't think we need to do trains along the top here. We're going to get a terminus station in the middle, well, middle-ish of Seattle. I guess I can slow down time. It doesn't need to be that fast. Uh, and then this is going to line up with these roads here. So by middle, I mean like it's just going to back onto this main road here. Only the two because we will connect this one to Newark to the T8 airport line. And that obviously is the terminus. So it doesn't need to turn around there. Now, what do we have? So this is... The T8 line. So we actually need to cross over these two tracks, which is just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I guess, well, if we can tunnel, because this kind of goes up a little bit. So if we leave this like level, level actually goes pretty far down. So I think we could do this, right? And then have this come around this way, maybe even stay level, because then the tunnel will end here somewhere. And then we can bridge over that lower track. So then that will easily cross over and then we can head directly toward Seattle. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. That is kind of annoying that it's doing that on that road. I don't want to bridge the whole way though. That's a little unnecessary. I might have to rebuild that road so it doesn't have a weird um, rise in it. It's kind of, I don't know, it seems unnecessary. All right, so that's going to go there. Now, can I, oh, I'm going directly toward the logs. That's <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on, I did not plan that out at all, clearly. I mean, we don't need to fix that road. Oh no, I've I've permanently damaged the road. Ooh, new train. Oh, it's a little slower actually. Oh, oops, 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 oops. My bad. Sorry guys, fixed it. Okay, this time I need to maybe even bring this back a little bit. So we come out of the tunnel. I probably want to stay going this way more because we're going to end up kind of over here. And then from there, yeah, that looks better. So if we go this way, that's a better approach. We still ruin, oh my gosh, this road. I got to fix this road. Like it goes up here under this mountain, goes down, that goes back up and then back. Jeez, that would be a rough road to drive on. It's okay, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Uh, this rolls on out this way as well. And then from here, I can probably just directly plug it in. So I'm gonna go on this uh, right-hand one of the, uh, the station platform, drag this all the way out to here. Get this one to, oh, oh. I really got to check these things before I build them. I don't want a huge, like we're in a basically flat plains area. Like it is obviously going uphill a little bit, but I think building a tunnel through an empty field like this is kind of ridiculous. Let me just not do that. That's my bad. There we go. That's better. Now it's all above ground. All right, then this one, whoops, not like that. This one comes from here and just comes along the side, probably up to this point-ish, and then it will merge in because we're not going to use that other one for this line like that. I'm gonna do some auto sigs. Hopefully this will work. Yes, it did. Beautiful. And then we do the same going the other way from here. And it worked. Now line, we got to go for the T8 train line here. So after, oh, it's number one. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I guess we can go. So from surprise north, we could, let me just pause here. We could go to Newark on platform. Yeah, platform two. That's correct. And then from Newark, it goes up to Seattle Central. Then it comes back, not to platform two, to platform one. So then, yeah, now it's on the correct side of the tracks and that should be fine. That should be plugged in perfectly correctly. There you go, that's all we have to do. We resume time now. So now our train will go Seattle to Newark 
to surprise airport or SPR and then down to surprise and then back up again. Now we could continue the train further down, but I guess it would have to share these tracks and then maybe branch here somewhere. I would have to go. There's a huge mountain range there, so maybe that's just as far down as this particular line goes. And then that joins pretty much the middle of Seattle, which is great. Now we did set up a bus line last time that is going from Newark to Oceanside, which is good. So this train actually connects us directly to Seattle, which is good. And then if you were trying to get to Oceanside, you might be better off getting the bus directly there, for example. So I think that's still going to be pretty, pretty useful. Uh, now as for this road, oh my gosh. As for this road, let me fix this because this is just horrendous. Now annoyingly, it's probably going to have to tunnel. I would like this to be a bridge, but this is going to... Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to do a way bigger tunnel. That's actually quite nice. I don't mind that. That's fine. That just goes under there, so it's a little bit less jarring now. And this one's a little bumpy too, but whatever. And that one's fine. Cool. So that's there. Now, the uh, yeah, like I said, the other big thing I want to do is go from Seattle to Norfolk to Hialeah to Miramar. But then I want to keep going to Wichita Falls to Lowell. L Lowell? Elizabeth? Probably Atlanta. It's kind of a little out of the way. Atlanta. And then I want to hook into this existing line we built way, 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 way back. So this one is T2. And that one goes from Midland to Jacksonville and then over to Denver. And I want this line to actually continue up the side here through all these towns. I think that's gonna be so, so good. The question is, so we've got this line that we built, which is T7 coming across. And so then we've got the T2. The question is, how do we merge them? Like, do we have the T2 line do the going up the side here? Maybe what we could do is have T2 be more of an express line. So maybe it actually just goes Midland, Jacksonville, Denver. We'll keep the existing Denver stop. Then this one might maybe just actually expresses past all these towns up to Miramar, which I think will be the exchange. Because I don't think I'll stop in Hylia. I think it will then go past that because that, that station's over here. So it's kind of not really great. And then maybe it can express past that to Norfolk and Seattle. But then the T7 will continue stopping at all these towns. So to facilitate that, um, we just got to figure out which... So the T2 line is going to be our more express northerly line. And that's going to then stop... Do we want to stop at any of these towns? Or am I just going to go straight past them? I mean, low... Low... <laughs> Lao looks pretty big. Like, it's a pretty big town, so maybe that's worth stopping at. Maybe we go Denver, Lowell, Lao, skip Wichita, then Miramar, skip Hylia, skip Norfolk. Oh, no, no, we'll stop at Norfolk, actually, and then also Seattle. So it skips a few of them. It doesn't stop at all of them. So this one down here, this is going to be, I guess, a terminus station because it doesn't really go anywhere. We could have a boat uh, here, maybe to Knoxville. It's a bit far away. Hmm. I don't know, Atlanta Atlanta's actually a pretty nice place, like right here on the water. So let's get, well, let's build a train station here because I definitely want one here. I'm just going to do two tracks. It's going to be a terminus station because I don't think we're going to go any further with this one. So that'll come into there. So that will go there and that pretty much catches a lot of Atlanta, which is great. Um, and then the T2 line is over there. This one, they will meet in here. So at this point, Elizabeth, now what I would like to do, I think it's going to be easiest to, man, I really needed the ability to save uh, station templates because that would make this so much easier. So what I would like to do should probably be here where all the residential stuff is. Let me get rid of this. I'm gonna go this 320 meter station and I'm gonna configure it to be like this. So we have the tracks running through the middle similar to how we did uh, with some of our other stations. So then our express tracks will go straight through the middle and let's get rid of that. That's in my way. So then we just need to connect from Atlanta to here to the outer tracks and we have to have the inner tracks. Did I just place a station there? How did that happen? <laughs> okay, well, let me build these tracks and I'll figure out how the, the logistics of this is going to work. All right, so I've connected uh, Elizabeth down to Atlanta, which I just basically did with some tunnels. So the middle tracks tunnel through here, they come up and go across, and then the outer ones actually join together and go through there. Now, the thing we're rolling into now, <laughs> I get it because it's trains, is uh, that this is actually very hilly here. Like, I didn't actually realize how this is and I believe the elevation of Denver is yeah way lower that five meters versus Elizabeth which is up here at 150 meters so we got to go down 100 meters basically well 150 meters essentially uh, and it goes down pretty quick so 
It's kind of hard not to get a big ugly bridge. So I think what we might have to do is actually instead of having these tracks curve directly toward us, actually maybe follow these a little bit longer and come around. I think we have to take a bit of a longer detour because otherwise, essentially, I'll show you what happens. Because if we want to go directly that way, which is obviously the most efficient way track distance wise, you end up with something like this. And it just looks ridiculous or something like this or something like this, which is also <laughs> ridiculous. So let's see if I can make this a little bit neater. So we're going to take a page out of these tracks down here. I'm going to follow them down because we are going downhill right now. And then maybe if we come around, we can still maintain a decent maximum speed if our train even ever gets that far, but we don't have to worry about a big bridge now. It sort of comes around here, there's a big curve, it comes down this way. And then this should allow us, hopefully, to get toward Denver in a much nicer route. And it does look like that worked perfectly. Now, hopefully I can just go directly from here into the, oh, actually, before I do that, I do, I do, we need to, we need to amend these stations because these stations are actually shorter than our current trains are gonna be. Like we're doing 320 meters now, which is two extra platforms, which may not seem like much, but it is an additional 80 meters of length. So it is actually quite a lot. Um, and then I will also upgrade these tracks to high speed. Okay, cool. So now we can go from here and connect it into the Denver station like that. Cool. So now that is actually connected up to Elizabeth. Elizabeth is connected to Atlanta. And let me tell you, I love this auto sig mod. Um, it makes life so good. So we can just go like that and it does the whole thing and I don't have to go along tediously placing one by one. Can recommend this mod and I'll do it on these tracks here as well. And the other way too. Okay, so that is the first bit of our line built where those guys branch off. Now we're gonna go to, so our express train is gonna then skip uh, Lao, a low, I don't know. Um, and I guess we're gonna try and come through here because that's kind of the best way to go. So I think our station for here is actually probably gonna be about here because if we go any further in, the trains will have to really curve in and around, which for our express train, not so good. So I think we'll put the station maybe about here. So it's quite, it's quite a way out of town, but that's right. We have to build all the passenger connections along the way anyway. So I'll quickly configure the station as usual. Actually, I was just thinking about it. We should probably have the T2 line actually stop in Elizabeth because otherwise, if you wanted to, if you were coming on the T2 line, it doesn't make sense because you can't get to any of these towns without passing half of them and then switching like up here and coming back. So you know what? I do actually need to change this station. <laughs> Which thankfully was pretty easy. All I had to do was actually just shift the track here to the outside and then add another platform in the middle. And that actually works out pretty well for us. And then that means our T2 line will stop in Elizabeth and then skip low, probably skip Wichita Falls as well, then stop in Miramar. So then you could swap to this line going that way. So that's the current plan. So all I gotta do then is join these tracks over to here. Oh, <laughs> man, this map is rough. Okay, hang on. So we can't, uh, that's really far down. Okay, um, I guess I know why it's called Lowell now. So this place, where, oh my gosh. All right, this, this, I didn't think it would actually be this difficult. We are up here at 154 meters. Low is down at five. So it's actually the same <laughs> the high difference between here and here, but we had all that room to do it. So, you know, it's probably, all right, well, let's get rid of that station. I don't think we're, gonna, we're not gonna be able to make it to that. We could either go potentially, and this is just pointing straight to a valley in front of us. Oh, and then Wichita Falls is back up at 150. That is so annoying. This is in the biggest dip ever. So really we could have the trains come around and then easily be able to get here and then getting down to Lowell is tough. Well, maybe our express train, which is in the middle, which is actually kind of annoying now because I have to keep <laughs> passing over the other one, could go around, which it has to turn pretty sharp, but that's okay because it actually has to stop here. So it doesn't actually matter if we have to do a pretty tight turn. So let's do a, a really quite a tight turn for a train here. Oh, I don't know why it's trying to cross over here. That's a bit strange. And then this train, I really shouldn't have done the cross. <laughs> <laughs> this crossover of tracks here is now completely useless because really the express train should now just be on the outside. Um, let me change it up again. This is why in real life, you know, surveying and planning and actually figuring out how the tracks are gonna work is a pretty vital <laughs> role. I mean, this is a very nice way. I think, I thought this was pretty neat. Like I'd, I'd done this in a pretty neat way. And if low wasn't so low, it would have been fine. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep these tracks on the sides that they are. We don't need to swap their sides. So this now, the express train, 
goes directly into here and the one next to it. So it doesn't need to cross at all, that's fine. And this one goes directly into these tracks or these um, platforms, also fine, no problems. A few little tunnels here because it's a little uh, little hilly here, but that's all right. So they come through, all good. I'm gonna do some more auto sig. There we go. And then I'm just gonna manually do these last few going the other way. Okay, so that's all now connected up. So basically now we have our express train on the right hand side, these two tracks, which again is gonna do what I essentially just did before a pretty brutally sharp right hand turn. But then really gentle, hopefully, curve out this way, keeping relatively flat so you can see we can actually get up to speed on this section if we had a 300 kilometer per hour train. And essentially just gonna come around this whole ridge. Um, and then we're probably gonna have to, I guess we can come through this area here, maybe just tunnel through this section. So we'll have to slow down a little bit through here, I think, and then come through to Wichita Falls. But that should work. I mean, it looks, it looks kind of ridiculous at this turn, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We're gonna come through this way, go around the plastics factory. So slow down to 160, which I think is kind of the maximum speed of our trains right now, which is fine. I actually kind of want to be more at this angle. It kind of makes sense to now stop in Aurora though, and actually then go through to Miramar. Maybe we should do that. Because I'm gonna have to slow down so much to make this turn anyway. It's like, well, you might as well just slow down to stop, you know? Why don't we do a station here then? And then it can actually go straight, looks like it can go straight into a tunnel, like right after this. And then just tunnel through this bit here, then pop out and head over to Miramar. I think that would work pretty well. I mean, not quite the vision I had for this train line, I'm gonna be honest, but that's why it pays to survey the landscape. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, look, very sharp turn, but it's warranted because of the landscape. I mean, look at this place. It's super duper hilly. Now, I do really want to get this train down to Lowell. I still want to go down here, but it means we're going to have to take probably a much more uh, windy route to get down here, which, I mean, in a way, is kind of fun. So that's where the station is. To get there, I think we're going to have to do some interesting uh, routes here. So if we go, oh my God, look at, see, there's a lot of people dry. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of people driving down here. So we're gonna go this way and come along the ridge as far as we can, I guess, and then come around. Should we just do like this or is that silly? I mean, what else can we do? There's not much else I can do. I have to, <laughs> I have to do that because it either bridge or so slow down to 40 kilometers an hour there. Look, it's, it's gonna be a tough way down the mountain, okay? Actually, we might be able to plug it straight in maybe. Oh, it's actually going down too fast now because <laughs> it's tunneling. All right, well, if we do this then, go as steep as we can, pretty much. Okay, and then from here, this should hopefully... Oh, really? It has to bridge? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Great. All right, so we have made it down. I mean, this... <laughs> this station in Elizabeth is so funny. The trains go bloop and bloop, but it, we just have to. I mean, look at the elevation change in this. There's no way... The only other way I could get down, I guess, is potentially follow this one and then come all the way around and then in. I don't know, that's what we're doing. Maybe not ideal, but that's just what it is. Right, from there, I'm gonna need to reconnect these roads because they are not liking me having them disconnected. There's a lot of people that use this road here. Can I, it, I mean, it is actually pretty level here, so I will bridge over this station and that can just sort of go down like that. There you go. Nice big road and I'll bring this back a little bit and I'll just go like this. There you go. All right, so that's connected up again. They can stop complaining. Nice bridge. Um, all right, so the train goes there. I'll obviously figure out how to connect this up into Lowell in a second. Um, then I need to do a station here in Wichita Falls, just a standard station. Maybe just on this road here, it'll probably be fine. I might turn this into a bridge or something. So these tracks are gonna go straight up to Miramar now. I guess I can get rid of this, this is in the way too. Beautiful, they have a nice bridge now. Because <laughs> of the train line there. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna connect this to this. All right, so we're gonna try and get up again. All right, this will be fun. So we're gonna go here. I guess I'm gonna have to do some curves here. Because again, we do have to, no, 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 don't, don't go down. We're going up a mountain, dude. We're gonna go up as steep as we possibly can. Okay, so there's like no mountain at this point, interestingly, because it kind of starts over here. <laughs> but then we can keep going up. I guess we'll do that. I mean, I don't really like the look of that, but I mean, there's not much else I can do. So we're gonna go like that. And this will hug it. And then we're gonna have to bridge probably over to the other mountain. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> this is so crazy. I love this. Though. This is so much fun. I don't know. There's something about building train tracks that are kind of ridiculous. That is that is a good time. So we'll go up here and then we need a bridge over to the other mountain. Maybe if I turn like this, because then we're sort of facing the right way whilst going up as much as I can. And I do like the stone bridge. It does look nice. And then this is going to come straight across. I kind of need to do it. I need to... I might need to turn it a bit more. It probably needs a bridge like here, like straight across. Like if we can go like this, for example, that's probably a little bit nicer. Maybe from this point, have like that. Yeah, if I can get this to, to work, obviously we will have to maybe bring this back. Maybe I can join it directly from here. It means we'll have to like tunnel most likely if this is even connectable. It is connectable and it does tunnel, but that's all right. I much prefer the look of it. Let me just get some of these trees back in here. Um, I want, what tree is this? I want whatever tree that is, because you can select which ones you want. European linden, maybe? Is that what it is? Or sugar maple? Looks like a sugar maple. Okay, so then, oh, I guess I could just literally just use this. <laughs> I was going to use the multi-tree brush, but there's no point. There we go. All right, so that goes through there. There's a tunnel, comes across this bridge, which I think is actually, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Mind you, these are all high-speed tracks for some reason. So I wonder what what height are we at right now? Because that's what I actually got to pay attention to. 120. We still got to go up 30 more meters to get to where the uh, <laughs> town is. This is crazy. Hang on, I don't want it to tunnel. I want it to like, oh no, now it's going down. No, 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 we go up. All right, there we go. So it goes through these, that actually, I think that actually looks so cool. The only part I don't really like is this first bit. I wonder if I can neaten this up a bit. Because like everything else is really nice and like classic looking, these stone bridges cutting through this mountain, like running along the side of it. This is gonna actually look so awesome, watching the train go on this. And also if we do a first person ride of this, it's gonna look amazing. It comes through this bit and sort of curves down around here. The problem was once I got to this point, um, it's actually the same height as where the station is. So I was like, the only option was I either go straight across and do a big ugly bridge or I have to go down a little bit to then come back up around this side. And that actually worked. I think that looks really good. So let me just see if I can clean up this little section to look a little bit more classic. All right, that, that definitely looks better. So now it goes this way. It does have to do a little bit of a sort of bridge over this section, a little bit here, but I think that looks a much nicer than that big modern bridge going around it. I think that looks so cool, having the train sort of wind through the, the valley there and the hills and mountains. All right, so at this point, we're now connected to Aurora and Wichita Falls. We need to bring these two lines together up in Miramar. Now, what we're going to be doing is using T7 as the train that stops in Wichita Falls, uh, Lowell and Elizabeth and then Atlanta. So T7 is actually going to run all the way from Atlanta all the way up and then continue through all of this track that we built last time to El Monte. So it's basically, basically going to be El Monte down to Atlanta. And then the T2 train is the one that goes Denver, Elizabeth, Aurora, and then Miramar. And then, then the uh, express train will pass and go up to Norfolk. So we need a plan... Well, actually, it's pretty easy. Hang on, if we get rid of this train depot, the express train will stop here, because obviously if they need to swap over, it will just be on these two platforms. The only problem being is we will have to cross over these tracks at some point. Uh, but we could probably do that around here, maybe either under or just do a little bridge somewhere. Right, so all we're gonna do now is hopefully, I think it's a lot easier to connect these tracks now that it's like much, 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 much more the same height around this area. So we should be able to hopefully connect these up no big deal. And this one can go straight in to there. Perfect. So that is actually this connection here, which actually, if I signal all this track up, we are actually already prepared to extend the T7 line because this is all now connected. So let's just get our signals up and running. And that worked. Beautiful. Do it over this way as well. Beautiful. And this section. These hills are gonna, they're actually gonna be really interesting. I'm really intrigued to see how this works with my trains. So that's all signaled back that way as well. And this one here, and that should be the entire track signaled along. So all we're gonna do, T7, manage line. Oh, that's number one. It's kind of annoying when it goes number one. So eight is Hialeah. So then we actually need to stop here on platform number one. Yeah, that's fine. Then it goes down through to Wichita Falls on the right hand side. That's good. And then down to Lowell. This one's the hardest one to get to. Oh, the hardest one to get to. And then we go up Elizabeth transfer. And then we go all the way down to Atlanta. And now we start heading back. So it goes back to Elizabeth transfer, which now it has to be the other side. There you go. 
down to Lowell. Perfect. Back to Wichita Falls. Perfect. And then Miramar. Oh, it actually already corrected itself. Cool. So that's actually fine. But that is actually up and running now. So what I would like to do is definitely get more trains on this line because it's way, way longer. So my current trains, this one is heading toward Miramar. The other one is heading toward the other end of the line. So it's here. So we could probably add another train well, definitely down this end. Probably one facing, like going this way, maybe in Wichita Falls, and then one down this end also going up. Oh, we surely need, we might need another three. So I'm gonna have one going this way from low, low. I don't know, I should just decide how I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I can't wait to see the comments on that one. Hopefully I can connect this in, because that's the idea. So this just goes to there. Right, so these, what am I using for these trains? 11 of those passion, passion, 11 of those passenger ones is what I'm trying to say, and a big boy. Oh, that's only 10. Oh, I'm using, I must be using these ones. All right, well, I'll update the trains to this new one. And I guess, should we make it blue? What happens to the front? Oh, actually, that's quite nice. It has a blue accent. I don't mind doing the whole thing in blue then. All right, so that'll go into T7. So that's gonna come here and start heading down. Then I probably also want one here going the other way, going up. And then I'm gonna also do another one from, from Atlanta. Now oh, I built this too close. <laughs> Damn it. Hate when that happens. That's better. So steam train, the big boy. Paint it blue. Chuck it on the line. And then I want to do one more train from low as well, heading up. Or maybe Wichita Falls, actually. That might be better from here. Because then we got one going down, one coming up here, one going up here, one coming down there. Pretty good spacing. But then the next train is actually all the way over here. So maybe another one in Clearwater as well. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna get a couple more trains. All right, so we've got how many trains on this line? Six trains onto the line now. So there's one heading this way to El Monte, another one coming out right here, heading through Clearwater and then up to Surprise. Uh, we have another one that is coming down the line here, just about to stop at Miramar. We have one heading straight into Wichita Falls right now. One heading into Lowell, which is not even connected. We'll do that in a second. Uh, and then we've got another one coming into Atlanta, then heading up the line. So let's connect in this one. It's probably one of the more important ones that isn't connected currently. I might do a bus and tram station. Can I do it this way? I can. I'm just going to have it go directly into it because I don't know that the town would even build anywhere near this. So then I'm just going to have this come down, maybe into there like that. Also, it's kind of weird that... Uh, <laughs> This road goes to that one little segment of other road, so let's just update that. I might as well upgrade the middle of the road. Actually, I probably should be putting electric tram tracks on it while I'm at it. And it will run down this way. I got rid of that nice big building. I'm sorry, guys. That's my bad. Uh, electric trams down this way. And now, bus and tram stop. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna probably want to stop here. And then maybe just one down that way. And for now, that should cover the entire town. Light rail and low, low whatever it's called, Tram Depot. Get that in here. Can that fit just under here somewhere maybe? Oh, that'd be, that'd actually be kind of nice if it did fit there. I'll nah, just put it here. And oh, actually we got new trams too in all this time that I've been doing stuff. They are slightly faster, but carry less people. So I don't know, make of that what you will. Let's get six of them. They're going to be the same color as this line, which is that one, I believe. Well, those are bright. Get those going. So now that's actually connected <laughs> so people can get the train. Now we should probably do similar stuff here. Uh, maybe just even a bus here would be fine. So let's just connect that road up. Let's get some bus stops, one there, and then maybe just one here. Just those two for now is gonna be fine for sure. Easy. So bus in, where was this again? What's the name of this place? Elizabeth. Let's get four. Yeah, they're pretty big. They carry 14 people, that'll probably be all right. We can always expand and we probably will have to. All right, let's get people moving to the station. And down in Atlanta, this one's pretty good, actually. I might even just leave this one for now. I mean, it misses a few places down here, but that should be all right for now. Where's the next? I want to see the train going through this section. That's what I want to see. Oh, this one's coming up the hill. Here it goes. <laughs> that says, yeah, it has to slow to 50 kilometers an hour around this corner. So I wonder if it will speed up now that it's like on the straight. Or is it too steep to speed up? Oh, it is actually getting a little faster. It is. It does speed up there a bit, but it really has to slow down around those bends. All right, so this train here is the one that's going to go next through the mountain area. So I'm going to pin that because I want to keep an eye on that. All right, so here in Wichita Falls, we should probably do a bus setup as well, just to make sure we service the entire town. So we'll go one there, one there, and ideally like one here. So what I'm going to do is then just connect this together. Then we can do a nice bus line through these three, and that should cover a huge portion of the town. How do you spell Wichita? I don't know. <laughs> Cool, so that's gonna go there. And then buildings, a road depot. It's the classic little setup 
uh, game after building all the rail lines. Let's go six. This town's a little bit bigger by the looks of it. So, and then we'll get the matching color. There it is. And off you go. Look at this. Beautiful. A lot of people want to go to Miramar. Very nice. Not many going down to Lowell. Lowell. All right, this train is now heading down. You got to make sure you go too, you make sure you go slow enough around that bend because it is rough. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. And then up through here, this should all be good. So this is already up and running. Very nice. So now what I got to do whilst we're waiting for that train to go is actually build the high speed rail. Well, not the high speed. I shouldn't call it that because it's not going to be high speed through this section. Uh, build the Express T2 train. That's going Denver, Elizabeth, Aurora, Miramar. It's actually not that express. It's not skipping that many towns. It's actually stopping quite a few places. It's a useful train. I should maybe just stop calling it express. I got to build a T2 train. Through to Miramar now, which I guess is just going to be a tunnel because there's, there's not really much else I can do here. So let's build this through here. Keep it level. That's pretty easy. Just go straight under that little road, which is nice. I don't have to worry about disrupting any traffic on that road there. And then I guess we're going to go tunnel straight through here and probably come out here somewhere and then curve in. Should be all good. So it seems to want to go directly through this plastics factory, which is kind of annoying. Uh, can I like... Curve it down a bit maybe to go under. Oh, there we go. I could go under it. Okay, so I could just tunnel through this entire section. But does it feel like it should maybe? Maybe it shouldn't do that. I mean, it's probably all right. Oh, then it actually bridges over here. And that could be a little bridge. All right, let's just do that. I think that'll be all right. I've done enough mountain passes for one episode. <laughs> it took me ages to do that. Okay, and then all I got to do is curve in, join up to this station. And there is a beautiful steel mill in the way, which is just great. So I guess I'll go this way. <laughs> we'll come around the back of it and then hopefully just go straight in like that and straight in like this. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually continue this. Like I said, I want this to actually continue, skip past Hialeah and then go to Norfolk and then up to Seattle. But I have been recording a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Like, like I said, I wanted to do a lot this episode. And I think we have. I mean, we've got the Erie uh, station connection up and running too, which is great. So this one's going. Which, I mean, it doesn't look like there's many people using it. There's one person. I can't imagine this train is making any money. It's 24 people on it, though. It, yeah, it's not. But I have had the game paused a lot, to be fair. So for now, I'm going to leave this part here. But before I end up, we'll uh, get this T2 extension up and running. So this will actually connect us all the way back to Midland, which will be great. So this will be our first train connection from the whole new expansion up north in this map down to uh, the existing rail network and trains. Oh, that one didn't auto-sig. Auto-sig? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, down to the existing network and connecting the rest of the map via train, which is pretty, pretty epic. So this is actually all now connected up. All I got to do is extend the train. What I do need to do, though, because I have extended this station, which I love how you can see this is the original and this is our extension. Uh, I do actually need to extend the platforms here in uh, Jacksonville is actually these ones here. So I think we could probably extend this section out maybe. I'm gonna have to move some of these out of the way. I'm gonna extend two sections of it, which, and I guess while I'm at it, I might as well do this other passenger line right here, which I believe is the T1 train. And I'll do high speed rails on this section for reasons. I mean, I might as well, we're using the new tech, why not? Can I fit a little side entrance? Oh, I can, oh, I can fit one there though. So that adds a little bit more reach. Seems like it should fit here. Or is the elevation? Oh, the elevation is way off. Okay, fair enough. But I will do some stairs going under so then get to each platform from the end here. And I'll build a few shades, you know, extend it out. Oh, this platform doesn't have any shades on it. That's so sad. Sorry guys. Does it have any stairs on it? Doesn't look like I did any tunnels, passenger tunnels. It doesn't. How are they even getting there? I guess they don't need it. I think what these actually do is like not connect the platforms. I mean, they do, but if you have an entrance of a station here and one on the other side, uh, they can actually pass through. But I think they can only do that if it's connected with these tunnels so they can go underneath, walk across and come out the other side. And I think that maybe is only the case um, when uh, you have like another road on the other side, maybe. All right, so then all we're going to do is just connect these in like they were before with the new station extension to fit the bigger trains. Uh, oh, yeah, cool. That's fixed. I uh, don't need auto sig here. I'll just do manual sig the old fashioned way because it's just a small section. There we go. So that's the extension there. And then I also need to extend the platform here in Midland, which we've already done some platform extensions like this one here, for example. But our T 
two trainees on this platform. So I need to extend this one here just by the two, which it actually fits just fine. And while I'm at it, I can actually also easily extend this one too. So if we want to extend the T1 train, we should be able to do that pretty easily because it's already got all the extensions uh, sort of place here anyway. And some shades, you know, just so they don't have to stand in the sun or the rain. Okay, so that's now all extended. So let's go for the T2 train. Where is that? I think it was over in Denver last I saw it. Oh, I guess I had it unpaused. Where did it get to? Is this it? Oh, this is it here. So T2 has one train on it. It's managed vehicles. It's 89 years old. We're going to replace this with, I guess, electric. I was going to potentially go the big boy, but oh, we could do the big boy. It does have to go up quite an incline, which it is good at that. But then maybe it's better just doing this guy. Well, attractive effort's only 291. What was the big boy at? 602. That's way better. You know what? Let's go big boy. Uh, and then we'll get these guys on it. So 305 is as long as we can make it. And I'll be that sort of color there. And I guess I need a lot more trains on this line now. Well, actually, I haven't even extended the line yet. I should probably do that. <laughs> so we go to Denver. Then do Elizabeth transfer. Perfect. Then all... Oh, wait. I skipped Atlanta. Whoops. Then Atlanta. <laughs> Oh, Aurora, sorry, Atlanta's the other way. Aurora, then Miramar, and then we just go back again. Okay, you're going on the wrong platforms now. <laughs> there you go, that's better. And then back down here, for Elizabeth transfer, back to Denver, and then that should all connect up again, cool. So that train is over here, so we definitely wanna get more. Maybe I'll start another one, just, cause I have a, few, where were those? No, oh, I'm gonna need new train depots anyway, aren't I? So I'll start another one here heading into Elizabeth. So one there heading into here. Then maybe, I guess we could even just do another one here going into Aurora. Because these stations are pretty far apart. So it makes sense to have another one here, I think. So just there as well. So just, just outside of Aurora. And then we'll do one coming back from Miramar already. What side is that to be on? To the left. So maybe I can just hook this in. Yeah, hook that directly. And we'll have to move that later on when we build the extension to the track, so that'll start here. And that's heading back, which is good. And then maybe we could do another one heading back through Elizabeth, or maybe midway between Elizabeth and Denver. Yeah, I might do one just coming in just outside of Denver. And that might be enough, I don't know. Cause I mean, at the moment, T2 isn't actually that busy because it was such a small line, it's like a small town, but now it connects up a huge portion of the map. So it's actually gonna be a pretty important train line at the moment. So that joins on here, it's gonna head back this way through Denver. The other train was in Jacksonville. So I think that might be okay for now, let's go with that. Oh, hang on, I just closed that train. Where was that train? <gasps> oh, I don't wanna miss this. I guess the question is, do we go first person or do we go, do we wanna like see the train? I don't know. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hang on, I need to go, we need to zoom out a little bit. Oh God, I always forget how to use this camera. I'm sorry, hang on, pause. How do I go up? I can't figure it out. Oh, Z. that's why. <laughs> that looks pretty sick. <laughs> uh oh, first person, yeah, through the tunnel. I mean, the tunnel is not that much to look at, but when we come across this bridge, it's gonna look good. Here it comes. Oh, there's a tree in the middle. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that stunning? I think that just looks so, so epic. Coming across this beautiful bridge. And then what we should also have a look at, we'll pause it there. Now that, that is a train. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, that actually looks really cool. Oh no, where did my other? That looks so cool. And then it's gonna go through the mountains here. Okay, let's, let's go first person. I think that'll be nice. Yeah. Oh, pfft. <laughs> <laughs> what I say really now's not the time come on well thank you so much for watching guys I'm gonna leave you here with this little first person ride through the mountains make sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day